even even that is a hard Thank you very much for everything. Thank you that you come to Georgia to both. Thank you very much. Very good picture. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Photographer? Yeah. Everything is okay? Yeah. All right, okay. So, let's go with Europe. Europe, we need to find Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to. Okay, I'll introduce Europe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 Ok
Alfonso, thank you very much. If I had known that this is so very formal, I would have gone to the barbers before, but I didn't know, so uh, it doesn't matter, I think. Um, our point this afternoon is the European certificate, and we have been working on it for many years, maybe a little bit too long, but now we do have the result. And, um, when I was in uh, Strasbourg last year in September, Jean-Claude and me, we thought that the certificate itself should be shorter than the one we have been talking about all the time. So um, this is not the type of certificate you may be used to because it is too long. It contains the, um, all the reg the regulation, the requirements for the certificate. Of course, this is part of the certificate, but on the certificate itself, that should be very short, and Jean-Claude is giving to everybody now the short form of the certificate. There have been no changes to the requirements or how to get the certificate, but it is just the short form and the four points you see on this part of the certificate is the, uh, the abstract form of the requirements and I think this is enough to, so that everybody knows what the certificate is like. And if anybody wants to know more about it, he has to go to our website, which is in procession and will be completed in one of the next years. And uh, there will be the, the exact requirements of the certificate. So maybe you, you are, I think, almost familiar with the requirements of the certificate. And you should read the short form which students who will have this certificate have to do. And this is the, the diploma they finally will get. Do you think that this is enough which has been written in this certificate in the short form? Yeah? Yeah. So there are no changes to the requirements we have been talking about for such a long time. And uh, this is just the, sort, the short form. I read it again. Deeper knowledge that has to be of a sport culture in a European country. Not or, but of. Yeah? We have to correct this. Concrete experience in a European country, active involvement in a European country's specific sport culture, basic knowledge in a second European language. And then, um, yeah, it, you have the date and the signature and the stem. We have a stem. I made a stem. You can put it on your. Emily. I know I was at the meeting last year and I don't want to get in the way of anything, but just if you look at concrete experience, that's subjective. What do you mean by that? Does that mean six months? 
it, 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 uh, it is the requirements of the Erasmus uh, contract. So at least three months and up to 10 or 11, 12 months. So, but what is, is uh, what, what we want to say with um, concrete experience is... I'm sorry, I sent you everybody this paper and I'm sorry for the poor. No, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Emily, Emily, um, concrete experience means A second, just a, just a second. No, it, it counts from three months to 11 or 12 months. It depends on uh, the student's uh, decision. But what is said by concrete experience is that the student has to have been in a foreign country. Yeah, that is the main point from three months up to 12 months, and these are the... Uh, um, yeah, exactly, Erasmus requirements. Yeah, Emily? Oh, thank you. As an English teacher, I look at point number four. Yeah. So do we require B1 at the European level, B2, or do we have to go to We didn't want to define it more precisely. We, we did not want it to, to we did not want to make it too formal with B1 or whatever it is. No, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But we, we did not want to make a preciser decision on, on what uh, basic knowledge is. Basic knowledge means, in, in my opinion, that a student who comes from a foreign country can understand and can speak sufficiently um, maybe he or she cannot follow, cannot follow completely a, um, a presentation in a foreign language, but he or she uh, knows uh, what uh, um, people are talking about without having a really precise idea of every word. Yeah, yeah. Because you didn't want to Laura, Laura. I can change it. So I have seen this mistake because it's a knowledge false Yeah. But I think we have to change something. But Laura. I don't think there is a problem anyway. So everybody. Stand, uh, no. Uh, logos. And then the university. Okay. Uh, mine is uh, different now. Yes. Mm -hmm. The university is one year. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now we keep them on the list. They never take them. They do come back. So we need to add uh, yes, you, one thing. You. So yeah, I give you the mail from my student. We send it at once to her. We change it and the next meeting. I do a new one. No, you you can do it before. We I think we finally should uh, decide about the European certificate now, and then it will be printed again. It has to be a print printed again, and then it's all over, because we have been working on it for decades now. That's true. Okay. That's true. So but what? Because I knew, and thanks, uh, as I told previously, to just uh, this is my first time here. I would like to know uh, what is the content of this European certificate. I can. We can give you the the, the longer form. 
Do you have this? No. Jean Claude, can you give this wait, wait. to Laura? We just need that when a student from the foreign country is doing one semester, two semesters, you can add something more to the study he does in the university. That means to sum up a better knowledge of the area where he studies. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you study in the last one, you can study in the last one. So you may learn another language to ask for the organization language to start with. Or you may be, you know, a sport, which is typical of the area where you are. And if you do this in a, in a, a, a different additional. In additional to the program of study, you get this. That's all. To sum up. So, so it is. Th that's. When I go to Romania, maybe have a, a better knowledge of the taxi culture around the music. Huh? I have a question. We, we uh, linked this with uh, the internship because maybe it will be more useful for the students to link it to the, to the internship. A better knowledge of the culture of sports of these countries yeah. to link it to the internship and to have best practice in this other country. What do you mean by internship? It's very, you know, it's not great, you know, but it doesn't only, you know, only require that you get more students from the one part only. Does that like Laura, Laura, we, we wanted to have it in addition to the, the home university diploma. In addition. In practice, not, not a lot in theoretical, but more in practical aspect. To give me an example. An additional value for this new job. A stage that gets stage. What kind of internship are you So, for example. Let's say one of my students comes to study in a university. For example. From quick experience in a European country, uh, better to complete this experience in the field that the student would like to to make his job in management, in uh, physical education, in teaching, and to get this best practice of this of this country and to know better in this new job. Yeah, Laura, the, I, I understand what you mean. It is um, a kind of work experience. Yes, but the problem is that not all universities provide work experiences for the students, not for the Erasmus students, not for their own students. So we always have chosen um, points here, requirements, which can be easily fulfilled by each university. Yeah? So, um, but maybe we can write um, uh, and, and say uh, it can be either this or three month work experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you understand? Yeah. Uh, everybody understands what I mean? Yeah. yeah. yeah? And, and then, Jean Claude, don't, don't you have this for, for everybody? No. No? Uh, we do have it. All of us has it. We have yeah, it. but Laura doesn't have it. But we, yeah, mm. we have it all. We have it all. Oh, 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 oh. It's number four. Successful participation in a research project or successful participation in a project with practical training. Brackets, work placement. That, that's okay? So we don't have to change anything. Okay. Yeah? Okay. Mm -hmm. So the logos. So if I understand, we don't have the one of Madrid, the one of Constanza, the wrong one. I have only one. You can, can you copy it? I have a problem with the diploma. Well, in Urbino is after 506 years. I don't, I can say. So, I need the one of Constanza, I need the one of Urbino. But you know, John Claude didn't get it from Elodie, because she asked us to update it from the website. Yeah, but the website is not updated from the website. Emily, I think we are on the secure side. If everybody sends his or her own logo to Jean-Claude. No, my problem is <coughs> I would like 
because we sent this paper to everybody. And yeah. Miriam told me, nobody answered me. You know, nobody answered me. So I knew it was okay. Otherwise, I wouldn't have printed it. I have just one mistake all but So I will change it for next year, one more time. What is that idea? It's not okay. No, I need to be updated because we're part of the university. Of Toulouse so please now. send it to me. So please, no, yeah, send it to Jean-Claude. Okay. The new logo, everybody who sees a mistake in the logos will send the newest one, the up-to-date logo to Jean-Claude, and he will fill it in. Yeah? Well, and we will integrate your university. Okay. Good. Okay. So we need somebody of the group who will deliver this diploma. And I think there will be a commission and that which could start next year to give the first diploma. Certificate. Certificate. Yeah. Yeah. Another word. Yeah. Uh, if our students this new year is going to be the last one's program, yeah. are, we, are we ready to give them yes. uh, yes. yeah. the end of the year? How, do we, how are we going to do it? Here? In the meeting? No. Yeah. No, 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 no. We cannot do it. Yeah, I think if you have sent a student somewhere, um, maybe to Romania, you will um, decide if the student has fulfilled the requirements and you will get into contact with Laura and you both then decide that the student will get the certificate and then you give I, I am supposed to give the signature and then you send this information to me and I fill out this, I, y you have to give me the name, the university, where it is your university in this case, and I will sign this and the student will get this and I will send this to you Mirela and then the student uh, will get the certificate. Okay. certificate. Uh, I think uh, be more complex, more than that to direct to uh, focus to this European faculty. For example, maybe I think it will be better to have all the students in one paper and the students would like to, to do this certificate and you can in paper you should your requirements are this. I uh, put him, I put him in contact with each mm -hmm. university mm -hmm. and where he wants to go. Yeah. And after uh, we will have a uh, certificate of what he will do in his mm -hmm. country, uh, what he will do, uh, theoretical, practical, or industry. Mm -hmm. I think it's very, very important to uh, give to the students a uh, strict procedure to be clear, clear what he will do there, yeah. and what is the the yeah. condition. Yeah. But this is precisely said yeah. on the requirements on this longer page. It contains five points, very exactly, yes, thirty thirty. But, but this will part um, of, the, of our website, which we must have, because otherwise you cannot give the information to anybody. Okay. So every student who is interested in having this certificate has to go to our website, and this must be the open area, not the, the, the internal area, and then everybody can see the requirements to get the certificate. But you can, give to the, you can give it to the students and define what you will do. Yeah. Universe, yeah. For example, if you come to Strasbourg, you do your ECT. 30 ECTs. 30 ECTs, yeah. That's okay. You've got the study contract. Not when I say if you study 12 hours of that dish, it's a typical language of 
the day and that's fine. If you practice this kind of sport, which is typical for origin, and if you do me a topic about Alsace, mm -hmm. you get this additive diploma. Mm -hmm. So I said to the students, you have your ECT, you have picked up, yeah. you program, yeah. and if you want to do more, you can have this, you just have to tell me if you want to do it or not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you, you decline it when it comes. And this is different in each area when you go to study. So if you go to Grand Canaria, if you have a small experience of Blue Chacanaga, for instance, if you want to do it, if you want to study the Canarian language, <laughs> maybe it's possible. In another faculty, then yeah. the faculty of sport, the dialect, the faculty of sport. You have a mm -hmm. better experience of the other language. Okay, they it's all some credits for this? No credits. There is no credits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We call it in French a uh, a supplement, a supplementary thing to your diploma you have. And it's in the supplement, supplementary. It is. It, it is in in addition to the university diploma. I mean, this thing can give a student, really a good student. A new certificate, and when you go to yeah. see an employee, he has something more than this usual yeah. diploma of the university. Okay. Yeah. And I think nowadays, so the more experience the students have, mm -hmm. the better it is for the job market. You know? So each university should be a fair, a fair, a fair, a Yeah. So what the idea was that every university can provide this type of courses. So this is nothing extraordinary, but uh, that is that's the uh, the everyday um, business of each university in sports sciences. You don't need to find uh, all the subjects in your faculty. You can tell him. You can go in the faculty of language, mm. and you go in the faculty of history. Yeah. In the university you can find it somewhere. Yeah. Hmm? But the the main. Just a subject yeah. But the main for the good students who wants to yeah. do more than a, just an Erasmus experience. That was the main idea, no? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. And I think it is more and more important for students not only to have uh, to follow regular courses and to have a BA or MA, but also to have extra curricular certificates. Yeah. And this is one of it's them. For example, a, a, um, a, a, coach, um, a coach license in some sport discipline can, can be uh, or is an example of an extracurricular certificate. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have a tuition fee for that? No, no. Because it is part of the Erasmus program and this is free. Thank you. In this paper, you pick up what yeah. you think is possible mm -hmm. in your faculty or your work. Okay. And this procedure is described too. Okay. So you need to do anything, you know? Yeah. You yeah. have to pick up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You can put gastronomy of your no, 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 no. It's sports sciences yeah, and, and not restaurant sciences. <laughs> well, we <laughs> science. Not. When we do not give the diploma to a student. If he or she does. If, if he or she does not fulfill these requirements or one of these requirements. It's not easy to answer you. So, this is a question. It's not easy to answer So we, we give it to anybody who wants. Yeah, who, 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 re, who, who wants. Yeah, and who fulfills these requirements. Okay. You understand? It's easy one. Very easy one. You have to pick it up. Yeah, we. And I know that. Like, you know, we have an example. I do my credits in your university, and you want to give me this diploma. What should I do in, 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 in Hong Kong? Okay. 
Follow practical courses. Follow practical courses in gymnastics. Yeah. At least write a topic about the, the area yeah. because you are specialist in gymnastics uh, and see how you organize it. About this. Yeah. And all. Yeah. That's all. Yeah, it's, it's easy to fulfill. And that was the, the original idea. We did not want, you cannot oblige the different sport institutes in Europe to provide extra uh, curricular courses uh, for students to get this certificate. So it has to be inside of your own.